Howdy, howdy. Look here, folks. This has got to be the last four Ford Tour station wagon. I have crushed so many of these, and you don't see them anymore. When's the last time we've seen one? Woo! Sound like I need to get that grease gun out this morning. We've been hard at it. We gotta finish up this job. That air is cold this morning. That's cold. This is it. The last four tour station wagon. Got it. Y'all see that um, that Ford tractor right there? They got a chain welded to the bucket, and that's how they move all these cars in and out. All right. Yeah, we want to finish this job, and um, I think I'm still going to go do some more out-of-town stuff. I think I'm going to go to... That spot where it's, um, the cars are like just full of trash, which we go to a lot of places like that. But um, they're stuffed, um, it's muddy. There were some jet skis I moved around and knocked some trees down and made a new little entryway. But then the last time we've been there, they've added some, some rock and concrete, so it's getting a little better. It's where they, that, uh, that old Dodge uh, Power Wagon was at. Which, I mean, I told y'all the next crew showed up, they're gonna crush it. And they did. All right, let's get this other Taurus off the rag. Well, maybe they're gonna put in some newer pieces. I mean, I bet these were good buys at the time and they set a junkyard up like 10, 15 years ago. That's what it looks like to me. And then like, they've done a little bit, but ain't nobody, nobody's buying parts for these anymore. I'm gonna have to turn it around cause it's more likely got two cats on the, one on the front and one on the side of the motor. And, uh, the only way to get those off is to pop the motor up, snap the cat, and um, do what I gotta do. I know I need to knock the dust off this window. Dusty roads. Where's Mario? He's still over with that car. Alright. We'll spin it around. We gotta do that anyway. Come on. Be nice. I've got a lot of room to play with. Before we open anything, let's roll it up a little bit, uh, take a peek. Yeah, we got two cats here. I wish Mario, oh, he did cut it. All right. It's best just to pop the motor up. I mean, you can break them off right here, but you break it up, I'll show you. Well, it depends on how messy it gets. 
can't have a bunch of crab babies. I haven't looked in the trunk yet. See anything. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm a full time daddy. I don't know for, I mean, I guess this week maybe, but the kid's mom, she she's not feeling good. will be over with me and it's out of town work I'm kind of like worried it don't take much for the traffic to get messed up and it can be messed up in several places when you're driving an hour you know, from job site back to the shop dad first we get we get sent somewhere i think we're gonna get sent again out to the country let's see here so we'll figure it out i should miss liz and go get the kids if i needed her to i think we already have that set up she's on the list to go there hey look here so uh the house that's next door to me is an airbnb and, uh, you know, me and the kids will be out there. They'll be riding their bikes, you know, in the street, in front of the house. And, you know, I, you know, I see these people coming and going. And um, I got to take these coveralls off. I mean, these uh, my muddy feet concrete pumping uh, sweatshirt. They hooked me up. How about I run it? It's pretty cool. How about that? I just hate that it's gray because it's it's gonna get dirty out here in these junkyards. There you go, Bubba. Y'all go check out his channel. It's doing really good too. But these uh, the, so yesterday me and the kids out there they're riding their bike. They were got it with one of those uh, electric scooters from Santa Claus. And or I think her Uncle Mikey got it. Anyway, uh, so there's there's a couple guys out there in the yard, you know, or out there in the driveway. They give me a wave. I give them it's a real quick wave. You just put it up, put it down, and then don't you know no eye contact. Look, folks, I'm a really nice, friendly guy. You know that's that's my house. That's where my kids are. So I don't really you know need to be meeting people every single weekend or every time in my yard. I don't need to be. You know what I mean? Uh, less exposure. That one's still draining. You got it, Bubba? All right. I'm trying to get that cat off. Then we'll toss it back in there. I was going to break him off, but he's like, man, I'd rather, if you don't mind, just pop it out. Anyway, a little more work, but that's fine. We'll toss that motor back in here in a minute. But anyway, so um, there it is, you know, kids are, you know, going back and down the street and come back and I'm watching and they wave at me. I wave and, you know, kind of put that face on like, yeah, I'm really not wanting to talk to anybody. But it didn't work. Usually it works. Usually they just wave, I wave, that's it. We don't, you know, we don't need, you know. Anyway, and I'm a friendly guy, y'all know this. But it didn't work. This dude, he's <laughs> come on over. He walked over and introduced himself and come to find out. Um, remember, I was, I, I was working at this uh, uh, one place out on, and there's these big, huge warehouses that are go up and going, and there's also ones that they're building. But when you look at the parking lot, you might, in the, the employee parking section, you might see five, maybe six cars tops. And these places are huge. I'm talking like 40 truck doors, you know, 25, 40, 40 on each side. Uh, 
Like I said, there's one warehouse over there with 64 doors on one side and 64 on the other. Anyway, well, he's like, uh, come to find out these dudes are from Croatia. And uh, I've been there. Anyway, uh, they're the guys that put this this these, these, this robot system in there. He, I asked him where he you know was doing this at. He told me the highway, the, the exit, and I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, those giant warehouses, and there's like four cars in the parking lot. He's like, yeah, because robots are running that thing. And these are the guys that, you know, each one's got, there's like five of them, I think. But, International Cowboy. I know a few saints from when I was over there, but not very many. I hit him with what I had, and he's like, God dang, that's not, that's not too bad. Uh-oh, what do we got there? Dang, that's got to be the last one on the planet, too. Was that a Roadmaster station wagon? Dang, look like Woody on the side, too. Or that fake Woody. No, it's just tan, and no, it's, it's, it's wood grain stickers wood grain stickers not even paint well I'm tired of these limbs slapping up man it's like poor Delilah's out here getting whipped with a switch just to go get a car and you don't got a whipper you don't got you don't got to lean on her I mean she's just she just cooperates she don't want somebody all these tree limbs slapping her got her mirrors all jacked up She's trying to do the job. Getting whipped up. Mario's back in the Taurus again. Or no, no, maybe it was the other wild one. Uh, all right, let's crush the last station wagon. Four Taurus station wagon. I probably, probably got to do the same thing. It's the same motor that's in that car. Probably pop it out. Let him get the deals off. Hey, were you able to knock those off? You got them? Great. Where's Mario? Where's Mario? Oh, so uh, uh, the boss called me and he's like, hey man, you remember you, you remember we're ever working with uh, this guy? He gave me his name and I'm like, man, dude, I'm sorry, but it's just not ringing a bell. And he's like, well, he's, he's applying for a job. He said he's worked with you in another junkyard, or he knows you. He said he just ain't seen you in a long time. I was like, well, man, I ain't vouching for nobody, but man, give somebody a shot. I mean, I said, but look here, dude. You know, is this gonna be, I gotta take the new guy again? I mean, me and Mario, we're doing it, man. And he's like, no, 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 you and Mario, y'all gonna crew up for a little bit. So he, I heard it from the man. We're gonna crew up again for a while. Oh, that new guy stuff's frustrating. Especially when there's, I mean, believe it or not, the car crushing part is like 15 seconds of the whole job when it comes to every one of these cars. Like the crushing part is just, it's like the least of it. It's all the stuff you gotta do to, to get it in the crusher. the same thing over again. I spin it around. Take a peek underneath it. Alright, come on. Spin. Spin, baby. Oh, you slid off the forks. Come on, baby. Spin. to be has to be the last four tourist station wagon. I haven't seen one in the road on the road in a minute I've seen some tourists here and there still going up down the road but I ain't seen no station wagons right, these are these have been complete cars like we got to do everything to them we got a battery uh, can y'all see it where's the battery Alright, the battery is empty. 
Let's take a peek underneath and see what we're dealing with. All right. Hey, you know what? I think all we got to do is break one cat off and we're done with this beast. Yeah, I think so. We don't got to pop the motor out of this one. One of these days I gotta pull the boat the boat off his hand control. Squirt it down with something. Easy. Easy. Probably go out there and just wiggle it and it'll come off. Probably still got a hanger down there off the transmission. No, it broke too. So weak. I gotta just finish tearing it off. Come on, dude. I don't want to slice the transmission pan. I don't want to slice the cat. It ain't easy being easy. I think that's only one. Dang, y'all see the hole in that transmission pan? Here, we can roll it down and take a look at it. Let me go take a look. Hey, my knife. Yeah. That's it. All right. Easy. You should let go when I say let go. You shouldn't have to push it that hard. I like it when you comply, honey. All right. Let's get this station wagon. Yes, I was chatting with the neighbor, but I don't know. I mean, he said, I think they said they're going to be in town like two months. I'm still real weary about that stuff. He can tell though too, you know, because he was like, man, I promise. I don't mean no harm. I'm just a dude. He showed me a picture of his kids. He's like, every dude over there has got a wife. They got kids. He's like, we're over here just working. I don't know. I can't remember what he said. I think he said they can stay like three months and then they got to go back. And then they come back for like three months, you know, a couple, stay a month or so and come back. I think that's what he was saying. Sounds like something. I know I was telling my kid that when he was in school, my, my oldest boy, I was like, man, do robotics, bro, robotics, robotics. Like that's gonna be the deal. Now this dude, he's just an installer. Like he's a wrench turner, the guy I met. And uh, but he said he was only making 15 bucks an hour. Or he said 15 euros. But is USD more than euros? I can't, I'll have to look it up, but I mean, Mario's getting better than that. I don't mean to talk nobody's business, but I mean, I know he can't just bring his family. He can't just stay and hide. I just got a family to go back to, but um, I figured them boys would be making more money than that. I don't know if I'd leave home for $15. Well, I mean, it might be I might be pretty bad over there and they need, they need work. You know, it might be that's the deal. It's hard to find work over there. And, 15 bucks an hour, but that could be some awesome money over there too. That ain't great money here in Texas, in Dallas. Not in Dallas. Rent, rent, uh, housing, it's too expensive for that. Um, I mean, you talk about a tiny little apartment. <laughs> Struggling. 15 bucks an hour and a family, you'd probably qualify for some government assistance. 18. Seemed like a real nice fella. But man, usually my like, I'm telling you that quick little wave, hey, up, oh, that's it. Break eye contact. They realize you don't really want to be bothered and usually that's, that's all there is to it. Mario, I'll wrap it, bro. Oh, he's already got everything draining. I can do that part, bro. I know I'm busy on this loader. I gotta step and fetch. I got a few cars around the crusher, so we can put a little more crush in this video. I'm gonna see what Mario wants to do, but I wanna finish this location so bad that I say we just work through lunch and just 
get it wrapped up, hopefully load up tomorrow, move the equipment. That way I know how long it takes me. If we move the equipment today, who knows what time I'll get home this evening. I might be pushing it. Their mama's too sick to go pick, to pick them up. Let me ask Mario what's up. Hey man, do you carry finito or lunche importante or? Finito, see, si, see, si, let, yeah, let's finish, man. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Team Tex Mex. He's feeling the same thing I'm feeling. That's it right there. Team Tex Mex. Well, here's six of them. Nine more. Clean up, pack up, chain it down, and. I'm thinking I'm getting the feeling that it'll probably be a load up in the morning, move out, go to the next location, start again. The piddliest stuff. That's pennies right there, folks. That's pennies. And I can't really get straight on because of the stuff behind me. That's another reason I'm going to get out of here. It's hard, hard crushing. Not hard crushing, but anyway. I'm sitting there thinking, it's the dilemma I got with needing to pick the kids up on time. One, I don't like a so late either. That ain't cool. That ain't cool. They're in school by 7.30 and then pick them up 6, 6.15. That ain't cool to nobody. They're ready to go home just like everybody else. But, uh, got me thinking, might be a reason I need to find like a real serious, not a ser real serious honey, but like a gal that I kind of like, hey, I need a favor. I'm gonna call the daycare and I need you to run up there. And, hmm, dang. That's something to think about. Daddy's, daddy's running late. Big daddy needs a little overtime. Go get the kids. Let's see here. Yeah, so I think me and Mario's gonna crew up for a bit. Keep those kind of worlds separate. Just like, just like it's Airbnb next door. I don't fool nobody. I keep my, you know, my kids. I keep them to myself. You know, we all do that. Maybe I have to get one of them gals that understands. That's another thing. Hey, man, there's wheels inside the car. Yep. Well, at least the battery's gone. These are Hondas. Isn't this a Honda? I think. No. Yeah. Well, anyway, usually they just got one cat in the middle of the car. Usually it comes off when it's on the rack. Let me go down there and help him. The distributor is what you want off these cars. Almost all of them Honda distributors go out.
Uh, you know what though, this next location, um, there's a, a taco place called Taco Casa, and I really like their tacos. It's more of like, better than Taco Bell, but it ain't authentic. You know, it's got some, I, I call them gringo tacos. So Mario, that's what everybody calls them. It's like American tacos. That's a cowboy, I swear. I'm always thinking about my belly. <laughs> I was thinking about the money. Jeez, get it together, bro. I think this is the last car over here in this little <coughs> location. Hey, that's concrete I'm driving on. I don't know if there's a lot of rebar or anything like that in there, but uh, there's a lot of concrete over this yard, across this yard. Yeah, I think this is the last one over here. Let me get let me get as far as I can this way. Next to these stupid Mustangs. Hey look, there's two fox bodies. Who cares? Be careful, these roofs, these roofs, bro. Be careful, man. It's twisting on you. I need to bring it out just a little bit more, and then I can go through the window. Oh, whoop, 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 man. Let's pick that car up. Let's pick it up. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. We got it. Notice everything gets real quiet, but it's like, don't drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it. <laughs> or don't roll out. Get it, Mario, get it. Let's get out of this place. We gotta get out of this place. If it's the last thing we ever do. Mario, there's a better jump shot. take much for us to get up out of here. Yeah, I was, I was like, look, boss man, like there's, there gotta be a way where, there's gotta be a way where I can, uh, you know, not have to suffer through all that new guy stuff. Obviously, they don't stick around. You think I might be part of that reason? <laughs> I don't care what it is. It don't work. Let's see here. See, if I had a new guy with me today, I'd be like, all right, man, let's shut down and go to lunch. Because he don't really understand the situation that, you know, we need to get out of this place. It's an hour from the shop. We need, to, we need to get done with this place. Mario understands it. He's been here, done that. Makes everything a lot easier. All right, so do a quick count. That makes nine. Remember, we need 15 to make a load. <coughs> Excuse me. We got that little Nissan on, over there on the other side of Mario. I got a little Honda on the rack. Got a little Civic Honda right here. That makes uh, 12. They did mark that Aerostar over there, which that's gotta be 
uh, that's got to be the last one on 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 the planet. And um, they need two cars. I see him walking around looking. Unless I missed them, maybe I might have to get him to point them out to me. But it's time to round them up, folks. We're gonna get this job done. Not saying there's bigger and better things to do. Not saying that. Just saying there's other places to do it. <laughs> well, all right, folks. We're going to get this job done. There's another factor that slowed us down. Anyway, don't be careful, be kind. It's Monday, we got stuff to do.